Hi everybody, we're so glad to have you here on the farm with us today. We just recently finished our chicken tractor and I wanted to show you some of the portions of construction of this and then we're going to go over some key features and some changes we ended up making. Hope you enjoy! So the portion of construction that you saw was mostly the part when we were building the coop. <clears throat> I'm trying to get our dog used to our chickens so that I can let him run around and not have to worry about him chasing after them. This just takes a little bit of practice, some monitored practice. So I have him out here with me today getting used to our chickens and letting them get used to him. Hudson, come here, come back to me. Good boy. Good boy. One of the key features of this build was the door. My husband has gotten really good at building these doors. He's now built nine. ABC is the best because it'll last the longest and they're very lightweight. Then what he does is he attaches a hinge and they can be very easily swung open and then latched shut. So that means any of us can get into the coops really easily. And this is a very important feature of all of our coops that I wanted to mention. Then on the front, there is hardware cloth that we just cut to the perfect size of the door. And then we just zip tie the hardware cloth onto the door. It's super simple and we've actually gotten really fast at it. Okay guys, so right here we built our ladder and then we put a hinge and attached that right underneath the opening that they go into to get inside the actual coop portion of this. These, I want to mention what type of chicken is in this coop. These are our breast roosters. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you all, these are our meat birds. Their intended purpose is to be eaten. And so that's one of the best reasons to build a chicken tractor because it's very good for their diets to have bugs in it and the natural grasses that they can get because um, that just makes for an even tastier bird. And so it is a really great way, number one, to kind of supplement the food source for your meat chickens, but also um, supposedly adds to the flavor of your chickens. So we had more roosters, 
but we've actually sold quite a few recently um, but we're keeping these three so that we can practice feeding our family for since these are all roosters the coop portion does not have a necessary nest nest box because none of these even if we let them grow all the way to maturity are never going to hatch out any eggs so we do not have to do any egg collecting at this time um, for this coop we also don't necessarily need nesting bars because actually most meat chickens because of their size do not um, roost we do not need roost bars sorry we do not need roost bars because generally they do not roost they're too heavy okay so here we are at the back of our coop this goes ahead and shows how we brought this tarp down and we bolted it into it's on it's bolted into a solid wood piece that's on the bottom that is how we framed the bottom of this coop and we bolted it in there and then we bolted it into, it into the wood piece that is the bottom of our coop so these are actually bolted into wood into the back because it gets very windy out here um, it's another reason we didn't want to put a metal roof on um, because it is totally possible because this is very out in the open on our property it, it's very possible that a metal roof could have been blown off or we were worried about it because of the, the very open locations that this coop is going to exist because of course this one is portable also putting tarp on the top made this a lot lighter weight now we bought a tarp so that we could put it over the run portion otherwise we probably would have just bought one tarp that covered the whole thing but as you'll notice we bought two tarps so it looks a little uneven but in the future, if we build another one of these uh, portable chicken tractors, we will just buy one tarp and cover the whole thing because they do make them very large. And it's also a very cheap way to make a top to your coop. Now, this metal piece on the back, this does not help with weight, although it is lighter than plywood would be, but this does really protect our chickens from the elements out here. Since they don't necessarily have a coop that goes all the way to the ground, it is really important that we give them somewhere where they can get out of the wind, but they don't have to be inside the coop. Because generally, if you own chickens, you know, they don't really go in the coop during the day unless it's winter time. And then they might spend a, quite a bit of time in the coop. But otherwise, they pretty much like to be outside, especially since they have access to the grass and the bugs that are on the ground um, that they can eat any time. Now, the way we'll move this, we do have wheels that when the grass is actually growing and um, during the springtime and the summer, we will put the wheels on and then it will be easily rolled. Now, there are a few different ways that I've seen tractors, chicken tractors moved. You can put a dolly and you can hook it under the front and then you can just pull the whole thing forward um, and then the wheels on the back will help it roll. Um, I've seen people attach chains to the front and then with their riding lawnmowers or some other kind of vehicle drag them places. That is totally up to you and there are many different ways to do it. We actually haven't specifically decided how we're going to do it. Um, but yeah, this one's going to, because of its size, it's going to be pretty heavy and the size of the actual coop portion. So I, I am really glad that we ended up just putting tarp on top instead of metal. That will really help with the weight and size of this uh, chicken tractor. But so far, we're really happy with it. It was actually really easy to build. Um, we'll let you know over time how it goes and how well it works. Right now, the roosters seem very happy in it. By the way, if you didn't know, you can keep as many roosters as you want to together as long as you do not have any hens that are super close by, especially not in the coop with them. But even right next to them would probably be too close and they would feel the need to fight with each other um, to be dominant and to have the hens. So as long as they are raised together and separated from any hens, then you can keep as many roosters as you want to together. We've never had any problem um, with any type of breed. Now, I will tell you, these are, like I said earlier, these are breast chickens, um, and they are not as nice as any of our Orpingtons. 
um, which I will highly confess to you will make it easier for me to eat them. But the other thing that's important to know is I cannot, because I tried, I cannot put any of my Orpington roosters in here. They get beat up. They're too nice. They just get bullied. So I ended up actually selling all of my Orpington roosters off. They, they, they were not doing well and I did not feel like that was a good quality of life. Um, even if we plan on eating an animal, we always want to make sure that they have a really good quality of life up until that point. If you have any questions or comments about chicken tractors or building chicken tractors, please put it down in the comments. And as always, if you liked this video, please subscribe. I have more information coming to you soon about sheep and I'm really excited about it. So be looking for those videos and I'll see you next time.